are testing some products today. As some of you know, my wife and I are opening up a retail store in Seguin. We're going to be a bee school and be teaching beekeeping, selling equipment and bees. And I have an opportunity this winter to test out some new products. I was at a convention recently, met these folks from, they're from France. It's a company called Apisolis, and it is essentially vape pen technology for smokers. Smoker is a vital tool in beekeeping, uh, but here we have a, a non-burning smoker. And the reason I'm interested in this is twofold. It's no fun carrying around a, a, a burning can in the middle of the summer. It also uh, can be a fire hazard. So this past summer, 2023, we had some really uh, hot, dry conditions here in Texas. And that meant I was working bees without a smoker because I didn't want to start a brush fire. So uh, I've got the Apisolus. I'm going to unbox it, check it out, see how it works. So let's see what we got here. This is the native oil so this is a non-toxic product i'm meant to understand so that the smoke coming off this is not going to be messing with us not sure what this is this is the charger we'll need that here in a sec there is a registration card and i've got a registration like authentication number so i can register the product and get uh, support for it uh, user manual so i how to peek at it, and it's pretty clear, pretty simple, uh, English, uh, French, Spanish. So this is the nitty gritty. Uh, this right here is the well for the oil. So we're gonna fill that up in a second. This is the rubber insert for the heat element. So we're gonna open up that heat element. And then this, is the beast. I'm gonna set this box aside. So this is the unit. I mean, that's a small smoker, right? It's got two clips here, so it's closed. I'm gonna take the clips off and then that opens up. So what we'll do first is we're gonna fill the tank. So set this here. I'm gonna open this, yeah, there we go it's kind of sealed so it's got like a little jet so I'm gonna take and just fill this I'm not gonna fill it all the way oh it comes out pretty quick but you got like a controlled little stream there there we go so I'm filled it about halfway prepare the resistance so um, if it's new which this is brand new you've got to um, soak it so um, so it won't burn the cotton as part of that so push this out so here's the resistor and I'm just gonna put a little bit of a little bit of oil in here and let it sit for five minutes Ooh, it smells really good it smells kind of floral so now I have to let this sit for five minutes I want to see what's in this packet might be additional resistors yes whole bunch of look at that oh that's awesome it's a whole bunch of resistors so voila I'm back so it's been way more than five minutes I actually took and I charged this with the USB charger uh, so it's got a good strong charge now it's just a matter of putting together this piece so then we just put this piece right in here the resistor into the silicone set up and then this little ridge the ridge goes to the back and so that actually seals it nice and tight and then now we just take the smoker and this goes in like this I keep calling it a smoker it's not really a smoker it's a vapor so and I guess three squeezes turns on this light so one two three and it beeped hear that beep so now we got it going whoa there it is there's our smoke wow look at that and it smells actually smells really good it smells like a flower so 
what's the flavor? I don't know what kind of flour, but it smells really good. All right, so let's see how it works. So I'm here at the San Antonio Zoo. I keep bees in a courtyard here and in a display hive so folks can see them. I thought I'd try the smoker out here. These hives are really small. It's the middle of winter, they're weak, but the smoker seemed to calm them down. They were pretty mellow. I could work them without gloves. I was able to get down and find the queen, show it through the window. I've got a bunch of spectators looking through the window so they can see the queen. And I was able to get into the other hive, a little bigger hive, but still, pretty weak, but the smoker performed just perfectly. Really happy with how this turned out. All right, y'all, that went really well. I was really impressed by this little machine. That situation at the zoo, I've got to walk through a bunch of buildings to get where I need to go to work on the bees. They were two really weak hives in a little courtyard. So I'm able to walk through these buildings, not with you know trailing the scent of my smoker. This has just got a nice scent, but when it's off, it doesn't smell at all. The hives were weak, so I didn't really need a ton of smoke. So um, this really seemed to do the trick. I'm interested to see how this will perform on bigger, stronger hives. But uh, no, I was impressed how this worked. I'm definitely adding it to my arsenal and I'll keep playing with it. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.